think the reasons I applied for Make was because I was at the beginning of working on something new. And I think at that point, you've got a lot of ideas and there's a lot of things swirling around. And Make was an opportunity to just focus on it. I wasn't entirely sure how the week would pan out at all. I was... I had no real expectation. I did ask a couple of people uh, who'd been before and they all had quite different responses. So I thought, okay, it's clearly an individual response to a circumstance. So I wasn't really sure how mine would be. We have a new project and we thought it would be a really good opportunity to go into a completely different environment in the really early stages. Like this is the first few weeks that we're working on this brand new project. Um, so we thought we thought it would be a good time just to come here and completely focus on on one thing and put all of our energy into that. I really enjoyed watching people at different stages of their projects. We're quite middling, like we're quite in the middle. We've done a lot of research and we still have to make the thing. A lot of people have made the thing and are improving on it. A lot of people are just thinking of an idea now and I've really enjoyed that aspect of it. I wasn't sure how the, the mentorship process worked, and particularly in terms of us working in groups. Um, but once we started into it, it clicked straight away. Like I knew exactly what the function of it was. The mentoring program was exciting for us to, mm. to have, you know, have professionals being able to show them our work and like reflect a bit with them or where we're coming from and also where to go from now. Mm -hmm. So this was kind of a, an ideal situation for us really great opportunity to work with some people who I would otherwise definitely not come into contact with so that's quite exciting and I really liked how kind of free that was as well like that there was that it's like totally okay to go and have a cup of tea or with anybody <laughs> another aspect has been the feedback from each other um also something that we've really utilized is other people's reference banks everyone's seen so much different kind of art so when someone from our group kind of recommends that we check out another artist because they've dealt with similar themes or we're kind of describing a style that we've that we're interested in like everyone has different pools so it's been interesting to draw from those it was something i was a little nervous about uh, i'm not always great in a big group and i'm not always great meeting loads of new people um but actually it's really good and to sit down and to make a conversation with someone that you've never made conversation about it's very easy to focus on, on being creative here. All of the rooms are just, they offer so much. And then it's been really nice to go for walks. You see everyone going for walks when they get stuck. <laughs> and it's, it's great. That's also part of what you're here to do. That's also part of your practice while you're here. So it's not like if you go for a walk, you're skiving off or you're not doing the work. I've never put Dublin in context of, of the wider world or, or even just the UK or Iceland or, you know, it's, it's very clear patterns of, have emerged f from this experience and I think we are better equipped now to possibly break through those patterns yeah, definitely. of development. I think it's been a very positive experience. I was a little nervous coming. I didn't really know what to expect and any fear I had was allayed.